Good morning, and welcome to the Crafty Canary. For today's tip, I am gonna show you how to get a cord or a piece of elastic or something like that into a casing. For example, a hoodie sweatshirt where the cord has come out of the hood. So I'm gonna show you a couple of quick and easy tools to help you to do that easier than just putting it in. Now this one has an aglet, which is that hard plastic thing on the end of like a shoelace, which is basically what this is. And that makes it a little bit easier to get in because you can guide it into the hole and you have something to grab hold of while you're trying to push it through that casing. But if you've got um, a string from your sweatpants that doesn't have an end on it, some of some hoodies don't have ends on their cords elastic that you need to get into a waistband then it's very difficult because you have nothing hard to get it in with and nothing to hold it on to so an old trick that I learned as a seamstress many years ago for my mother um, is to get a safety pin now you want to get the biggest safety pin that will fit into your opening as you can and you put it onto the soft part close to the aglet but not of course through the plastic close it really good and make sure it's closed and then you insert that into the hole where your casing starts and that aglet is going to just kind of follow as you pull you might have to tug a little bit but as you can see that's a little easier than just using that aglet and then if you had nothing it's definitely easier than that to get it so there you go that will take me a little bit of time but it's still easy now as you know i'm cheap and I don't like to use tools that I have something that I, I don't want to go buy something if I already have something that is efficient and will work. But I did discover there's a thing called a bodkin. And this one is made by Clover and it's called Clip and Gentle Glide Bodkin. And this thing is a miracle worker. I don't know what I ever did without it. So it looks kind of funny. But what you do is you take this white plastic part and it opens the clip on the end, which is the green plastic part. And you put, again, the soft part of your cord in there, get it in there good, and then push the white button down again, which will close it, and it's in there tight. And then it's got this long plastic piece that's very flexible, and you put that into your opening. Now, this has got a lot of kind of chunky plastic parts on it. So for a small opening, sometimes you kind of have to wriggle and get it in. And if it's any smaller than this, it's probably not going to work because I do have to struggle to get it over that plastic clip. But once I get that and the aglet in, look at this. Isn't this just amazing? I mean, so fast. If I was using the safety pin, it would be definitely faster than using nothing or definitely faster than... Um, anything else I could use but the bodkin oh my goodness I mean you see how fast that was and now I'm coming up onto the other end I'm gonna push that end through the other opening pull it through get over my big green clip and look at there and then just open that white one up and it comes off and I have my hoodie cord now insert it again. My son will be very happy. It'll probably come out again in the wash. <laughs> but, and sometimes I have seen that they sew it at the center and that way it doesn't come off. The only problem with that is after a while when the sweatshirt isn't quite worn out but the cord is, it might come apart. And then you have this sewn up and you can't insert another cord in there and get a new one. So, it, I, I'm not real sure if I like the idea of sewing it in when I can easily put it back in if it comes out. So I hope that tip helps. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.